After scripting history with Chandrayaan 3's soft landing near south pole of the moon, India now is now setting its eyes on the sun. Now the Aditya L1 is set to take off in a few hours from now and the launch is scheduled at 11.50 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota. All internal checks and launch rehearsals have been completed and the mission will take off on the PSLV C-57 rocket along with seven payloads to unlock the mysteries of the sun. After the overwhelming success of Chandrayaan 3, now Aditya L1, the next mission the whole world and India is looking forward to. We have a very special guest with us who is going to take us through that, how this mission is going to go and how ISRO is going to approach this mission. We have uh, Mr. Nilesh Desai with us, Director of the Ahmedabad ISRO, sir. First of all, uh, what, what are the advantages and how does ISRO see this project, uh, Aditya L1 now? What do you think its main significance is and what are the main things which you think which we are seeing through this mission? So as you are well aware, after the overwhelming success of uh, Chandrayaan-3 mission, ISRO is now ready to launch this Aditya L1 mission uh, for study of sun. And uh, as you know, both study of moon and sun go together. because Then that will give us very good insight into the overall solar system of ours. Now, coming to this Aditya L1 mission, so it was going on since last many years, this activity related to Aditya mission. Earlier it was planned as a LEO orbit mission, but afterwards it was changed to this, uh, to launch this particular satellite into the L1 orbit, the, which is the uh, Lagrange point L1. Around that, a HALO orbit has been selected where the satellite will be put into a hello orbit around Lagrange point. Overall, all the activities have been completed and launch authorization also has been given. Countdown has also begun today morning. So we are ready, ISRO is ready to launch this particular satellite. Now, as far as its usefulness or utility or its importance is concerned for the scientific community of India, as well as the overall scientific community of the whole world, uh, this will provide very important data after the SOHO and Parker missions earlier, which have done the study related to sun from L1 point. Uh, now we are, first time India will be doing this type of observations from the L1 point. So that is its significance as far as ISRO and India is concerned. And apart from that, uh, we would like to study the space weather effects by studying the sun. That is one aspect. Then we will study the various uh, processes which are taking place on sun in its core, in its surface, as well as the effects of these processes, the coronal mass ejection, CME related studies, as well as the anomalies observed on the surface of sun where, where the core temperature is 15 million degree Kelvin and on the other troposphere we have observed the around 6,800 degree to 5,000 degree Kelvin temperature and from that we have seen the on the surface of the sun uh, anomalous region where temperature goes as high as 1.5 million degree Kelvin. So all these phenomena will be observed through this mission and a lot of data will be collected continuously from the L1 point because the L1 point has an advantage that we will be able to regularly or continuously observe sun uh, without effect of eclipse or occultation. So that is one of the unique advantage offered by this hello orbit around L1 point. And continuously it will observe sun for almost five years, its design life. 